Cruise Day. Guys, I am taking a two-day cruise on Margaritaville of the Seas. Never been on here before, so I just wanted to give it a little try and try it out for myself. All right, let's get going. All right, just dropped off my luggage and now I'm about to check in. We have license to chill, so, so we have special lanes that we're going through. So we just walked into the Vanessa Situ Lounge where they have seating for you to wait and they also have some snacks over here. Let's go check it out. So it is self-service and looks like we have cookies and vegetarian sandwiches and assorted pastries but all gluten, nothing <laughs> For all you glutiners, they have that. But they do have juices. But they do have coffee and juice that I can indulge in and enjoy. We were sitting here chilling and um, now we are told that we can go ahead and board. So we're about to go board the ship. Alright, head up the gangway to the ship. Y'all, look who's behind me. They follow me. I can't go anywhere without people following me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you scared me. <laughs> I see. All right. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> yes, we're ready to get the party. Drop the night. on the buffet and in the dining areas. Okay, the first station I came to is the dessert station and we have different cakes and sugar-free cheesecake, carrot cake. Uh, there's some fruit for me. I guess I can have some fruit, some apples up here. Uh, here's the drink station over here. And let's see, over something, I don't know. But uh, it's like rice, pork, peas, beef stew, pork tenderloin, verde chicken casserole, fish with salsa. So I don't think that maybe the, the, the rice, I might be able to handle a little bit of that. Uh, so have some, uh, they have some chicken noodle soup here. And see, this is the vegetarian station. It's like they have white rice, string beans, grilled vegetables. Uh, so that might be able to I might be able to indulge in a little bit of that if I'm able to find some uh, protein to go with it. And it looks here we have a sandwich station. I'm gonna ask for to see if they have gluten-free bread, but somehow I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but also it looks like uh, that's for your fixings for your, your sandwich. And it looks like this is the salad bar. So of course. I can always get a salad on a cruise, but who wants to have salad on a cruise? Yeah, it's the same thing. So, just a, two different stations. The front one, of course, is more crowded than this one. Oh, okay, here's, here's my protein. Looks like we have some, I don't know, this chicken turkey or something. We have a station here, too, where they have noodles, chicken alfredo, things like that. Pigs in a blanket. Hot dogs. Uh, there we have it. So let me see what I can get. Alright, looks like over here we have burgers. Let me see. Hi, question. Do you have gluten-free buns? Gluten-free buns? Uh -huh. We have the gluten-free bread, but I don't think we have the buns now. Okay, so you do have gluten-free bread? <laughs> we have a gluten-free bread. I will ask my cook man. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay. It is hot out here. I know you see me sweat. But so, uh, I asked for a 
one gluten-free bun. They told me they didn't have gluten-free bun, but they did have gluten-free bread. And it's actually Udi's, but <laughs> let me show it to you. So I ended up going with just a bunless burger and some fries. So if you want gluten-free bread, they don't have a bun, but they have these by um, Udi's. But it's like a, a roll. And so they gave me these. These are like two whole grain rolls that are gluten-free. But, you know, it doesn't seem, and they seem kind of firm too, so it doesn't seem like it'll go well with the burger. So I'm just going to hold those to the side and save those for later and just eat it, you know, um, without the bun. We found out when we were trying to get drinks that we actually had to come down downstairs first to get a, a wristband because we bought drink packages. So I got the premium drink package up just because I want to see what the difference is and to try it out. So I'm coming down here to the Emporia Bar to actually pick up my wristband so that I can start enjoying my drink package. So I got the ultimate or the premium package. So when you get the premium package, it comes with this wristband. So they just tap your wristband when you get your drink. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is the who's to blame? Margarita. All right, guys, rooms are ready. So it is time to go find my stateroom. So they do have maps here on each floor so you can figure out where you are and where you need to go. All right, and I'm looking for room 4148. So down here, always oh, are beautiful. Always look nice. All right, and here we are, 4148. What's that? 4148. There we go. It's a little dark in here. Let's see where the light switch is. Okay, I see two. It says main switch. There are two buttons here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. Here's the room. All right, let me do a room tour. So check out the room tour. To the left, you do have your temperature controls. Below that is your main switches for your lights. Now, as soon as you walk in, I have my closet space here. And it looks like there's life jackets up there, some hangers, and some floor space right there for my shoes. And it looks like a shelving area here. So I'm gonna slide this over. And I see, okay, so there are, there's drawer space here. So that's nice. There's drawer space in the room. Oh, these. Well, this one does. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't open because I have the door locking it. But you have uh, four drawers here. You have a form if you want to do laundry. And just to the left of that, you have a cabinet and more drawer space. And then you have this open cubby here. And of course, up here, I'm assuming this is. Oh, I thought there was going to be a safe there. Do I have a safe in this room? So uh, these are your life jackets, and I thought there was gonna be a safe here. I don't see a safe. Okay, no guys, I think I'm actually missing a safe in this room. I don't have a safe. So if I go to the other side, this is a sliding door, or I'm assuming the bathroom. Oh, right, yes, I am correct, the bathroom. So there's a switch here, we'll turn this switch on, and the bathroom looks pretty decent. All right, there's your mirror here, there's some decor there got your mirror and you have a shower it does have a curtain it's your curtain shower let's open it pull this back a bit and you know, a little shower head got some shelving space uh, for your personal items some sh shower gel shampoo and conditioner there so all right well that's that standard toilet trash can and towels to my left over here there's a a desk here with a mirror and a stool here trash can if i go over here so you have bottled water but you can see they do charge you 4.95 per bottle 4.95 for that and they also have a bottle of wine in here and this is 
Let me see, wine pairs well with water. That's $29.95 per bottle. And you got your ice bucket. I'm assuming you can ask your room steward for ice and a couple of glasses if you so choose to use. Pulling back, we have our large screen TV up here. It's a pretty nice size, I can't complain. And the wall decor, which is a map of the islands in the Caribbean Sea. Little wall decor here and over the bed and you have your queen size bed. And like I said, you have lights, lights here, but these are not operated by the main switch, but rather by these switches here. So you have the left, the right, and the middle, so. Now, right next to the bed, you also have a another closet here. Let's see, let's open this up. Maybe the safe is on this side. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, wait. Oh, this is a bed. Okay. So I guess if I had somebody else staying in this room, then this would be a pull-out bed. I'm not gonna pull it out, but there's uh, an extra pull-out bed. And then here's your phone by the bed in case you need to call for room service or help. Let's see, there is under bed storage area. If you have large suitcase, you can put them there. And I will say the room does seem pretty decent. So I'm not gonna be here, you know, too often. It's only a three day, two night cruise. So I will be in the room for a very limited amount of time. So that is my tour of room 4148, an inside room on Margaritaville at sea. <laughs> So muster is done. It's a rainy day today, so they moved sail away from the pool deck to deck eight. It's five o'clock now. I'm about to go swing through to see what's happening there, if anything, but I'm going to head down to dinner at 5.30, 5.45-ish, so I can catch the early dining. So usually on the first night of a cruise, I always go to the steakhouse, but for this one, it's only two days and I didn't feel like I wanted to pay $65 for a steak dinner. So I decided to just try the main dining room tonight and either the main dining room tomorrow or just the buffet. I'm not really expecting much for gluten-free options. I mean, it's just a two-day cruise. It's on Margaritaville at sea. So far, I have not been surprised. <laughs> so, but I do want to see what they have and just to share uh, my experience with others who might want to consider Margaritaville at sea who have gluten-free or other food allergies. It is good to see that they have plenty of these hand sanitizer stations around the ship. Vegetarian, uh, vegetarian diet. 
So uh, that's the only thing that's more gluten free for like the main entry. So I asked about it and he said uh, that someone will come over to assist me. Now, if they don't have anything that I like, I, I see that they have the option to order from the steakhouse. And I'll just order a steak and you just have a steak like you know, normally do on the first night. But I should see what, what they have. So this is early dining. So I said not many people in so it's not like it's a full house. It is uh, 5.45 and they're just starting service. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, the chef came out to ask me about my allergies and rec made some me recommendations. So even though there was only one item marked as free and it was a vegetarian item, uh, he came out and he said, well, I can actually have a shrimp or the salmon. So I did select the shrimp and also the gluten-free desserts. Uh, there was nothing listed, but he said he would make a gluten-free dessert for me. So I'm interested just to see what it will be. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. All right, so they brought me my gluten-free bread. Let's let's unwrap this and see what this is like. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, this is the same same bread that they gave me for for the hamburger for lunch. But at least yes, they warmed it up and it is softer. So and I tell you, they are super super careful. They will not open these bags for you and pull out the bread. You need to do that yourself. So they are being super super cautious. And here's my appetizer. This is uh, pumpkin soup. It's gluten free. I've never had pumpkin soup before, so I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about pumpkin, but I thought, hey, let's try it and see. Like sweet potato soup, <laughs> like a sweet potato pie. I mean, it's, it's I mean, it, it, it honestly, it, it does taste like sweet potato pie. Not sure I'm crazy about this as a soup, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not that it has a bad flavor. It's just that I'm not used to having sweet potato pie as a soup, and that's what it tastes like. Alright, so I ordered the shrimp. This actually looks tasty. It looks really delicious, so I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Let's try it. Alright, so I am going to try the shrimp. I'm going to try a little bit of shrimp with a little bit of rice. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to try the this is good. This is really, this is really good. Cool. And it has like a corn, uh, it's like corn and peppers uh, mixture with the rice. And it has broccoli oil. It's not like a sweet and sour, sweet and sour shrimp. So this is really good. I am very pleased. <laughs> Okay, I ate every bite of that. This is this was so unexpected. I was not expecting much, um, you know, for, for this dinner, especially in the in MDR with the not being specialty dining. But it was actually delicious. It was like it was like a sweet and sour shrimp. They called it something else, but it was very very tasty. As a matter of fact. I was planning on go, going to the uh, to the buffet tomorrow just to you know see what options they have for gluten free. But man, if this is on the menu again tomorrow, I would not mind getting this again. This was very good as a gluten free option. Got me all excited, but I can't wait to see what they bring me for dessert. I'm, 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 I'm full, but I just want to see what they're gonna bring me. All right, so what I got for dessert is the creme brulee. <laughs> it's nothing extra special, but hey, I'm not gonna complain because I love creme brulee. All right, so dinner was delicious. I cannot complain. <laughs> Margaritaville of the Sea did well for gluten-free for the first dining night. So I'm, I'm actually gonna come back tomorrow to the NBR and I'm going to request Henry again so I can have the same experience, but it's good. But hey, we're still in Florida, but we are finally, we're actually moving. So we're finally moving out. 
So I'm gonna head to the upper deck before I check out the, I think there's a show at 7.30. So I'm gonna head out to the upper deck to get some peaks of West Palm Beach as we're pulling away.
back in my room. I'm closing this vlog out. Great first day. I had a really great time on the Margaritaville at sea. Day one. So tomorrow is the Bahamas. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning. Today is day two and I have an excursion. I decided to purchase the excursion to the Grand Lacayan Beach Resort. We are to meet here at 9 a.m. for this excursion. At Grand Lacayan, because you're not staying there, they don't offer you tiles. So we had to sign to get towels here. So I got two tiles to take with me to the beach and I had to return them on deck three when we come back to the ship. So we are in our meeting locations in the Euphoria Lounge. They have meeting points for all of their excursions. They have coffee and like treats over there for you to have while you're waiting. So I got my coffee here. So I am just waiting for our excursion to be called so they can escort us to our meeting location outside so we can get going. Now this Grand Lucayan excursion, it was $135. I did hear that you can buy a resort for a day that is $35. Of course you have to get your own transportation and I don't think food is included. So this one is all inclusive plus transportation. So it's either, either way you want to go. So they're calling, so let's go. So I made it here to the resort and it is just as beautiful as I remember. That's the last time I was here. It's very nice. So I got the all-inclusive, which was about $134. Now you don't have to get the all-inclusive. I actually met someone at the meetup location and she only got, I think there's a beach access only. So uh, I know it doesn't include food, but it was for $75 is what she told me. So they have different levels of access. If you want to try this resort, you have multiple different options or multiple selections and you can choose which option works best for you. the drinks are $7.50 so it's not a bad price even if you don't get the all-inclusive. All right so let's take a stroll around the resort. As you can see it wasn't really crowded. Most of the people on the ship went to the Taino Beach excursion instead. There were plenty of loungers to choose from.
Okay, we're here at the Aroma Cafe. Let's see if they have any gluten-free treats in here. And of course, coffee. You can always get your coffee. Okay, so no gluten-free, no cauliflower crust, but uh, for everybody else, this is also a place. Now you do have to pay extra for it, so it doesn't come included in the price. When the attendants saw that I was filming, they offered to take me around to show the other spa spaces. All right, and up here, what's up here? This is where all the treatments happen, all the massages, facials. Okay. Then this way. And these are the treatment rooms. This is the treatment This is the treatment room. This is for couples. Okay. This is for couples. Okay, sure, yes. So All right, and this is a treatment room for couples. All right, okay, and this is the women's locker room. Okay, so plenty of locker space. And so they can put it, create their own combinations. Okay, and there are stalls here. Oh, wow, this is nice, okay. Oh, two showers. Okay. So these are two showers here on the left and the right. Okay, this shower. This is a steam room. Okay. And on the right we have a sauna. We got two jacuzzis here. And on the right we have a sauna. Okay. Oh, oh. Nobody's in here right. Okay. <laughs> Nice little, and it is steamy in here as well, so, yes. All right. Give you your room. Okay. You change in the ladies' locker room, and then after you're done, you come and sit down here. Yeah, okay, so after you change in the, the uh, ladies' waiting, the locker room, then you come here to the waiting room. So this is your waiting room area. And there's a gym up this way, so we'll head up to the gym. Now, can, can people come here to just work out without a spa treatment? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Once you're a guest at the hotel. Uh -huh. Okay, if you're a guest at the hotel, then you can come here and work out at the gym. So, show you their gym area. So, it even looks like they have cycles. So, I'll see if they have classes. But here are cycles. They have treadmills, they have um, cycles here. Do you have classes for, so there are spin classes and there are body sculpting classes as well. As well. So that was Census Spa and Fitness Center. And the rest of these, I know these are rooms when I stayed here before. This was the way that you went to get to your rooms. And leaving the spa, we just make a left turn and this is the beach resort area again.
And here is a map of all the amenities located on the resort. So I opted to get a grilled hamburger, bunless of course, and with fries, and of course, a Bahama Mama.
Sam Smith. Saturday morning the fun is over and it's time to go back home overall I think this was a pretty good two-day trip uh, I live here in Florida and it's like an hour away so nothing for me to just drive up and or ride, ride up and you know take a short two-day cruise if I wanted I loved Grand Lucayan I've been thinking about the package that I got would I get it again I actually probably would. So I got the license to chill package, so that means I get to debark early too. But now I'm about to go get breakfast and then I hope to be off the ship by 8.30 or 9 a.m. It's 7.30 now. <laughs> 